Hey, Cold Shiner here. Okay, as you know from other videos, I'm not an expert, but I'm learning a lot. And I'm trying to pass on some of that knowledge and my questions as well to you as I go along. Um, partially so I will remember later so I can refer back to this, and partially to help other people. As you know, I believe that the uh, Tony Miller SHP Amplifier Guidebook is like the Bible. If you don't have one of those and are trying to work on one of these, you are uh, foolish. Well worth the investment. It's not expensive and uh, you need to have it. One of the things in there it talks about, or Tony talks about very specifically, is how these two potentiometers are a piece of junk. Uh, I didn't really understand that until last night. Um, these, if you've watched me adjust the bias on the SHP amplifier and the other videos, you'll know that these are what you adjust the bias, and it's critical to adjust the bias. You stick your screwdriver in one of these two little holes, and that's the back side of these two potentiometers. These are also called technically trim potentiometers or trimmer potentiometers, or some people just call them trim pots or pots. To simplify this, what this really is is a resistor. It is a variable adjustable resistor. What you do is you've got two points here, and as you turn this, you change the resistance. So if you're looking at the Seberg specifications, this actually is called a resistor, and this is a 75 ohm resistor. Okay, so it should go from 0 to 75. Tony says these things are pieces of junk, and now I understand why. Look at this one. I'm at 183, 184. How can you have that kind of resistance on something that goes supposedly up to 75 and stops there? Well, the reality is it's not even turned much. This has a couple of turns, okay? Two full revolutions. So right now, I'm at zero. Okay, I can't turn. I'm, I'm counterclockwise as far as it goes, all right? Now, you can kind of see from this piece of metal here on this what one revolution is. So got one revolution. Okay, this is not even, so this thing doesn't turn, but about three quarters, maybe, uh, of a revolution is what it, it, all you can turn, okay? So this is all the way off, and it should be at zero. Instead, it's at point, or it's about two or three uh, ohms resistance. But the thing is, when I just turn it just a, a tad, and you can actually see here as I turn, watch this, watch the dial, okay, ready? I'm turning it just a little bit. See how it jumps up to eight? Jumps up to 20, then back down to 6, down to 4, down to 3. I haven't changed this, okay? So now it is at 2 again. So it went from 2, and I turned it to 3, to 5, to 8, and then it stopped and it went back. Now it's down to 1. I turn a little bit more. All of a sudden I go from 1 up to infinity. Go back down again. How much I'm turning this? 80, 63. 157 or 2. This thing is just a piece of junk. How can you actually adjust your bias when it won't adjust properly? So what he says is get rid of it. Either A, cut it out all the way and put a resistor, a, a fixed resistor in its place, or get a true decent potentiometer. He says Sermet. I didn't know what a Sermet was before uh, I read his book, so I researched it. This little thing that fits on my finger here is a uh, 100 ohm Sermet pot, trim pot. And I bought uh, 10 of these, and I'll talk about these in the next video.